Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie. If you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. My name is Allie. I upload three videos a week, beauty, lifestyle, and Bible. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. So today I have for you guys my April favorites. And these are actually genuinely things that I was loving in April. I actually played a lot with my makeup in April, did some looks, discovered some products that I haven't tried in a while and things like that. And there's actually a lot of skincare. I got some hair care and I got one thing that I wasn't loving, just one. Okay. So let's go ahead and start with the stuff for your hair. One thing that I've really been loving, and I've been loving this for a while, I've just been forgetting to mention it, but this is this Aussie Miracle Curls. And this has with coconut and Australian jojoba oil, sulfate free. You guys, if you have, okay, I'm just gonna say it. Like your hair is not white girl hair, but like it's not fully black girl hair, but like you have something in the middle, which is like what I have, because I feel like stuff that's made for like Hispanics and white girls, like it's just a little bit too oily for my hair and, or not oily. It doesn't do enough for my hair. Like it doesn't hold anything. It's just really light, lightweight. And then like, I feel like with just straight up um, African-American girl, black girl hair products are just way too heavy for my hair. So something like this is actually perfect. It meets my hair right in the middle. And I like to use this like right whenever my hair's damp. So I even if I wake up, I will wet my hair before I use this. And I only have to use it once throughout the entire time of me not washing my hair. And I can go up to five days without washing my hair. All I have to do is throw some water back in it. And this is stuff lashing your hair that long and it's like the longer it's in there like the more i don't know like it just i don't know i really like this for your hair so if you have hair kind of like mine where you're like right smack in the middle of like some stuff's way too heavy and other stuff is way too light i recommend trying this out another thing that i like because since i've had king like i have new growth like crazy so all up here like all of this is new growth and then like even in the back so it's like they're in a weird place where it's like they're not even baby hairs anymore like i do have some baby hair but some of it it's like it's not full length but it's not baby hair but i've re i've got this got to be glued got to be glued styling spiking gel and this says water resistant which it is you have to wash your hair to get this out and I learned that with this, it works best if your hair is dry, which is usually best for me because I don't usually need this till like third or fourth day hair where I need my edges to be slicked down. So that's really, this is only going to work if your hair is dry. If not, your hair is going to keep curling up, keep waving up. So I recommend using this when your hair is dry, but it does work really good and it does hold and it will not go anywhere. So the next thing I have is actually this Freeman Detoxifying Charcoal Mud Mask, Charcoal and Black Sugar Mud Mask. This will clear up your breakouts within the, like the day after you use it. They'll be ready to pop if you pop your pimples. I pop my pimples, that's what one of these little scars is right here already. But this will be, this will have your face good to go within one to two days after using it. So if you feel a pimple starting to come, use this mask and it either won't show up or it'll bring it right to the surface immediately to get rid of it. Another thing, I don't know where you guys can find this, but I have these Yoga Vera mask sheets and this is the strawberry one. And I was like, everything in this is in Korean. I find these at my Asian food mart. They sell them like five masks for three dollars and so i just like i had a, i had this one for i had one that's just like this one i've saved i've been saving this one so i could talk about it but the first time i used it i was like i had been i hadn't been using it because i was like okay like i can't read anything on the back i don't know what strawberry does for you because it has yet yeah, it has aloe vera strawberry and yogurt which i know like yogurt and aloe, aloe vera is really good for healing your skin yogurt's really good for moisturizing your skin i was like what the heck does strawberry do strawberry actually does a lot for your skin it keeps it clear it hydrates it it gets rid of dark spots dark circles skin damage so i was like oh okay and one thing i noticed that if i'm having a like if my skin is just freaking out i will use this mask and it calms it that same night and like 
I wake up and I just like, oh my gosh, like I recommend at least finding something that has strawberry in it if you can't find these. Like I said, these are the Yoga Vera mask sheet. Yeah, they're called mask sheet. Yoga Vera strawberry mask sheet. These work amazing if you're able to find them. Like I said, I find mine at the Asian Food Mart. Okay, now let's talk about this PMD. I've been loving this because this side is for like more, I like to go in after I have this, after I take the sheet mask off, you know, you still have all that residue. I like to take this side and it has four different settings. It's like scrub light, super fast scrub, massage, slow, super fast massage. So I use the two massaging things and I always start out slow, obviously first, and then I will speed it up. But after I use a sheet mask or just I've, my skin just feels like it needs some blood flow, I go in with this side and I just massage like my moisturizers in, the resi like the leftover product from a sheet mask. I'll just go in and massage all that in and it feels amazing. And it really helps your skin like just absorb it all because it's not getting absorbed into your hands. Obviously this isn't absorbing it and that like every, all your product is just getting absorbed into your skin. And so I really love this. And also I still get breakouts, but I feel like they don't get as bad or as intense now that I'm using this to clean my skin. It's kind of like it helps cut the time that I'm breaking out in half. Another thing that I've really been loving is this 24 seven Dr. Brandt Retinol Eye Cream with Ruby Crystal Complex. You guys, I noticed such a big difference with this that when BoxyCharm had it on their Boxy pop-up, I bought it again for $12. I noticed that my dark circles have lightened up a lot with this. It just, my under eyes are not as dry. They don't get flaky. And it really helps keep my eczema from popping up because if you guys remember, I used to get eczema really bad under here. And I don't, not since I've been using eye creams, but this one especially, my dark circles have calmed like all the way down to where even if I don't have on makeup, Makeup. I don't feel like I need to put anything under my eyes. I really like this and I really recommend it if you're if you're subscribed to BoxyCharm. Check Boxy pop up and see if they have this and snag it at that very discounted price. That's what I did. <sighs> Almost done with skincare, you guys. You guys know I just had to mention this again and because I've been doing my makeup a lot more. You guys know I've really been wanting to just play with color and I've been doing a lot of full glam and this melts everything away so this product is good by itself but i had to mention it because it is especially good and mine's dirty right now don't judge me with the makeup eraser you guys i got this in my box of charm and i've been loving it so what i do is i go in with this rub all the makeup off rinse my face with rinse it off with like first i rinse this off and then i get this nice and wet and whatever is left over comes off with this and this is amazing. I highly recommend this. I'm pretty sure Boxy Pop-Up will have it discounted now that it's been in a box. So try to grab it at a discounted price. Use it, buy it from Ulta, get your points. Just try this out. Try this. And something for skin there that I'm not the biggest fan of, but I still use it, is this LA Girls Sweet Lip Scrub. I feel like it's not scrubby enough. I feel like you get like some scrub but like it's mostly oil which i'm not mad at and i did use it today because i needed that oil treatment today with a little bit of scrub i wish it was more scrubby like i wish the actual whatever they have in this to for the actual scrub i wish those were bigger and i wish there was more it's mostly oil you get like i don't i don't know i just i don't recommend this i would say either buy something more expensive or try anything else but this out don't i'm using it because i bought it but I don't, yeah, I don't recommend that, you guys. I just don't. Now getting into makeup, something of LA Girl that I have been loving that has really made me love brow pomades is the LA Girl, and this is their dark brown brow pomade. You guys, this is so creamy and easy to work with. I tried out a new one today. If you, you'll see that video next week, but this brow pomade, oh my gosh, it made me love pomades. I, I love pomades now. I think I'm a pomade girl now, except for on natural days because pomade's a little bit too much. But pomades are really good. This one's really creamy. If you're kind of scared to try out a pomade, I really recommend this one. And it'll kind of help. Don't go in heavy handed with this. You got to work with this little by little because it's so creamy just to build it up to your liking. So start out light handed and then like I promise you're going to fall in love with this. I promise you're going to fall in love with this. Since we're already on the eyes, 
since we're already there. Next is this e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer. Now that I've learned how to work with this, you guys, I really, really like this. Like, I like it a lot. This works best if you use your finger. And I mentioned this in my last uh, Get Ready With Me. This works best if you use your finger because it kind of warms it up and it thins out the product. Now, I've tried using it with a brush. You're not going to like it with a brush. You're not. It makes your eyes look way too textured. It's way too thick. It makes your eyeshadows way too patchy. Now, if you use your finger, you're able to kind of warm it up in there, apply it to your eye. You're still warming it up, blending it out. It's going to cancel out that pigmentation on your eyelids. And it might look a little bit textured, but as soon as you set it down and you start applying your eyeshadows, they look smooth, they look beautiful, and they last all day long. Now, I do recommend setting this. Like, you have to set this eye primer or your eyeshadows are going to be patchy so like I said those are my tips if you're gonna try it try it if not don't I don't I don't know but those are my tips if you have been wanting to try this out because I know there's a ton of mixed reviews on this right now some people yeah it's like people either love it or hate it I'm the person who hated it and now I like it it's definitely a favorite right now for when I want to do really dramatic eyeshadow looks Okay, the next thing I have is this Essence Make Me Brow, Brow Gel. I forgot how much I liked this. I ran out of this a really long time ago. This is really good for $2.99, I believe it is. It's either $2.99 or $3.99. But this is really good for the price. It will help, it will hold your brows into place. It has a little bit of pigmentation just to help fill in, fill in any bald spots. And it's just, it's not going to wear off throughout the day. It's going to help hold all that product in place and keep your brows in place where you want them. I really recommend this as well too. The last thing for the eyes is actually this Hip Dot Eyeshadow Palette. This is their Boss's Beauty Palette. That's just what it looks like, you guys. These eyeshadows are so good, so blendable, so pigmented. I really, really like this eyeshadow palette. Like, I don't know and I feel like this is so wearable and so usable because you have your pops of color but majority of them are neutral and more bronzy which is what everybody likes. I got this for 12 bucks on BoxyCharm on Boxy Pop Up but I do believe that they still have this on their website and so I will link that price down below because I'm not sure if Ipsy will get it again. But like I said, if you're able to find this on Boxy Pop Up, grab it at $12 because I believe it's like 30, 32 bucks. But this is really, really good and I really like this. I don't usually mention eyeshadow palettes because I don't use them enough to like them. But when I use this, like it made me want to use only this. So I really like this eyeshadow palette. So for concealers, you guys know I tried this out again and I love it. This looks beautiful under your eyes. It hydrates and then it, it, it doesn't crease throughout the day. It doesn't make your under eyes look um, crepey or creasy and it's going to give you really good coverage. Once coverage, once again, that is the Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. I really like this and I have mine in the shade Light Beige. This next concealer I like for all the exact same reasons and this is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer and I have mine in the shade Light Natural. This is really good, you guys. I love this for priming your eyelids before eyeshadow. I love this for underneath your eye, down the center of your face. This is really, really good, and the coverage is amazing, like even better than the Catrice one. So if you haven't tried this, I recommend that you grab it and pick it up. Another thing, and I'm just like, why did I ever stop using you? I forgot how good you were. I forgot how great you made my skin look. And this is the Pretty Filter Glassy Skin Balm from Touch and Soul. Yes, my Wet n Wild Primer Serum is similar, but it's still ain't this. This, this does exactly what it says. Pretty Filter Glassy Skin Balm exactly how it sounds is exactly what it is and for that reason i recommend that you buy it okay for another primer i've really been liking this the benefit pore freshenal hydrate primer <sighs> this is good it feels i like this because since i am more on the dry skin side it really fills in my pores and it doesn't mattify my skin out which is not what i need especially if i'm using an already more matte to natural finish foundation i like that this doesn't mattify anything out it doesn't make you look like it doesn't take away any of the shine, but it does feel in your pores. That is what I love this for. And that, that's all I have to say about it. Another thing that I really recommend are these Ulta Beauty Stay che Cheeky Liquid Blushes. <laughs> if you're lighter than me, this might show up on you right away. Now, if you're my skin tone, this will be perfect for you. You gotta build it up and it builds up nice and slow. And it really helps hold whatever blush you put on top of it in place. Or even if you just wanna go like more natural with like concealer, cream, 
highlighter liquid blush this looks really pretty really natural and it adds a subtle glow not too much i really recommend this these are really this is really pretty i have mine in the shade preppy peach and i really like it i really really like this this is this is good this is good okay now i have been wanting one of these palettes for a while and i'm really glad that i finally got it this is the bh cosmetics glowing and grease palette now it does look really really dark but none of them come off as dark as they are in the are as they are in the pan they actually build very beautiful you go in light-handed these two blushes have been my favorite because like i said i love peachy blushes so these two have been my favorite, which actually go really pretty with these. Like this is my favorite combo to mix these blushes with this. So yeah, I really do recommend this. These are super pigmented, super pretty, super blendable. And like, even if you buy the whole palette, like any, like these are going to fit your skin tone, no matter if you're lighter, medium, darker, it's, it's for you. And also if you do makeup on people, this will be really good because then, like I said, light, medium, and dark, especially if you do makeup on people. This is a good palette to have, and this is 16 bucks, so it's not bad because you get... Whew, that was a lot of products, and I think that's the most products that I've had in a favorites for a long time. I didn't even have a March favorites, so April was good to me. April was really good to me with products. And so anyways, I love you guys, but remember that Jesus loves you more. Let me know in the comments down below what were some of your favorite products. Did I mention anything that was already your favorite? Let me know some things that I should try out that might be my favorite. So I love you guys, but remember that Jesus loves you more. If you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.